Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of testicular torsion. In current practice, ultrasound is increasingly used to guide diagnosis of testicular torsion with reportedly a reported 100% sensitive, 97.9% specific, and 98.1% diagnostic accuracy. Thus, ultrasonography saves as a serves as a gold standard in our study population, although constituting a 30 to 60 minutes delay in diagnosis. You can see the scanning of the left testes, and it is echo normal. Blood flow is normal. The size and ecogenicity is also normal. Ultrasonography with color and power Doppler imaging has emerged as a primary imaging modality for the diagnosis of testicular torsion. It not only helps in correcting, in corroborating the diagnosis by evaluation of the testicular ecotexture, but also provides valuable information on vascular perfusion of the testes. Now you can see the right testy is and you can see the right testes. There is no blood flow seen due to the torsion of the testes. Sacrotal ultrasound is used to check blood flow. Decreased blood flow to the testes is a sign of testicular torsion, but ultrasound doesn't always detect the reduced blood flow, so the test might not rule out the testicular torsion. Testicular torsion is twisting of the spermatic cord and its contents and is a surgical emergency affecting 3.5 per 100,000 males younger than 18 years annually. It accounts for 10% to 15% of acute sacrotal disease in the children and it results in an archaeotomy rate of 42% in boys undergoing surgery for testicular torsion. Again, you can see there is no blood flow seen in the testes, in the right testes. Immediate recognition and treatment are necessary and torsion must be excluded in all patients who present with acute sacrotum. Testicular torsion is a clinical diagnosis and patients typically present with severe acute unilateral sacrotal pain, nausea and vomiting. Physical examination may reveal a high riding testicle with an absent cremastric reflex. If history and physical examination suggests torsion, immediate surgical operation is indicated and should not be postponed to perform imaging studies. There is typically a four to eight hour window before permanent ischemic damage occurs. Delay in treatment may be associated with decreased fertility and may necessitate archaeotomy. You can see again the blood flow is missing in the right testes. Testicular torsion is a clinical diagnosis. In patient, if the patient has testicular torsion, he will feel a sudden, possibly severe pain in his scrotum and one of his testicles affected side. The pain can get worse or ease a bit, but probably won't go away completely. If the patient has sudden groin pain, get him to the hospital emergency room as soon as you can. 
the scrotal scrotum should be examined for tenderness tender spermatic cord which is suggestive of epididymitis a high riding transverse or transversely oriented testes is common with testicular torsion whereas the testes is usually in the normal anatomical location in 17% of cases with epididymitis and orchitis if you have a testicular torsion the chances are you will know it you will feel a sudden possible severe pain in the scrotum and one of the testicles on the, on the affected side the pain might increase and decrease but generally won't go away completely now the signs and symptoms of the testicular torsions include sudden severe pain in the scrotum swelling of the scrotum redness tenderness or hardness of the scrotum nausea and vomiting abdominal pain on the same side as the torsion and the testicle being in a strange position such as higher than normal or on an unusual angle now you can see the calcified tissue seen in the right testes as there is no blood flow it seems a a but bit of time has passed since this torsion you can find some important information in the description of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks